you take us to the word? How did you overcome that fear? And speak specifically to that woman who's sitting there just loaded down in that fear because God's called her to start a Bible study in her home or a community ministry in her town or a blog or a podcast. Speak to that fear with the word of God, Amanda. You know, there are two passages, well, three, three passages of scripture that really ministered to me in that time. The first one that just kept popping up over and over and over again was Matthew 14, when Peter steps out of the boat. And, Mm -hmm. you know, he, uh, when he starts looking at the waves, you know, he sees Jesus on the water and he's like, I want to go out to you. And yeah. he's looking from side to side and he's seeing all the storm, the waves, the wind, all of the things that could possibly go wrong, all of the fears and anxiety that could overwhelm him. And he begins to sink. And yeah. Jesus, you know, and then Peter cries out and he says, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus puts out his hand and he pulls him up and he says, oh, you of little faith. Why did you doubt? And mm. And then Jesus, you know, he walks on water because he's keeping his eyes on Christ. And I think when we start to look from side to side or when we we look at all the things or all the fears and anxiety, um, we don't get to see the what's on the other side of our yes. And Mm. I just want to encourage women that if you if you are stuck in your fears, you will not get the opportunity to see how God can work on the other side of your obedience. And I remember seeing at our last scene ministry gathering, all of these women gathered because we packed out every venue and God did more than I could have ever anticipated. But I remember thinking at that time, if I never said yes, this this wouldn't have happened. And it's not, that's not because of me, but that was because of Christ working in me to help me in that process. You just watched a short clip of Grounded. To watch the full episode, check out the link below.